we all know someone with this ability. Whether their family, friend, colleague, or even neighbor. What we may not know well is how they survive in Nigeria. We assume it is difficult, but we just may never really know. Now, this is a topic we shy from. Let me be very honest. I personally assume if I ignore it, it will cease to exist in my world. But they are in my world. If they're family, we lock them up, clothe them, feed them, and never really talk about them like they don't have emotions. If they're friends or colleagues, we help as much as we can, then forget about them as we go on our jolly ways. Now, people born with disabilities actually grow up only knowing their life as it is. But in Nigeria, where accidents are to a dozen, many more people become decapacitated later in life. Imagine losing your sight in an accident. God forbid. Yes, we all pray it away, but accidents keep happening daily. I hear that many disabilities can be prevented from deteriorating if only we act on early signs, especially for people born with them. But for accident victims, what is our emergency response like? Many don't get first aid and eventually lose body parts. Such a preventable dilemma. Let's praise Lagos State in this regard. We have a few responders in emergency situations. The government did try. So I have decided to advocate that we, the people, do more in support. Let's come together to fund more institutions to cater for people with these abilities. Let's acknowledge their emotions, educate them, hold their hands, employ them. I'm not talking of handouts, so I'm asking that we create a quota for them to aspire to fill in the society and not turn them to beggars. That is inclusiveness in all areas. If you build your business to allow accessibility for people with disabilities, that's more customers for you. It just makes more business sense anyway. But these abilities are usually overlooked by us. We definitely can do better. When you are 100 years with great-grandchildren, it's the institutions that we built that will cater for you to be more comfortable, handicapped or not. Do you commit to help? Coming to help, and I will help in the best way. It's not a laughing matter, seriously. <laughs> Tell us how. I will help in the best way I can. Um, even people, you know, in Nigeria, even the able are disabled. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So. These uh, disabilities, is it mentally or pocketly or which, exactly. which of them? Exactly what you're saying. Because which of these disabilities? Because there are different kinds of disabilities. Yeah. You yeah. like, nailed it. Yeah. Let's even start from the everyday one that you know, mm. you know, the, you know, physical disability. Yeah. Recently, we had cause to talk about um, the access to courtrooms. How can our disabled people access courtrooms? Mm. That is in the hallowed chambers of uh, the judiciary, which is the last hope of the common man. You know, you find out that when we even build our houses, we do not have them in mind at all. Yes. Yeah. At yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. You know? So, and but yet you find out that the world these days, even where they are preventing accidents, they are creating opportunities for them. Thank in you. some organizations, if you we believe that when you just put signs for car parks for disabled people, that's okay. all. You've done you've done, done, done a lot. You know, even the banks done have nothing. Our public institution is worse. Go to federal secretariat, you'll be asking yourself, so if you have a disabled worker, how will you climb up? The How will you assess the building? Hmm. Nothing. So we are not, and, and that's for the physical the disabled Disability. people. Then I talked about the, those who are disabled but able. The society does not enable you at all. And so you find out that you that have little, you're having to even help those who are mm -hmm. able. They don't have jobs. They have to pay rent. They need to send their children to school. It's, you know, so every day you see, we do go fund me, we raise funds for one project, one thing or the other. We need to consistently remind government of their responsibilities. 
Well, it, I mean, okay. Yeah, let, yeah, okay. let me uh, allow you. Let okay. me allow you. You know, um, I, I had a program recently. The guy that talked about the airline that refused to take him from Abuja to Lagos just because he's disabled. Uh, he's the man living with disability, let me rephrase. And they said that because um, he's using wheelchair, they will not let him in to the aircraft. Oh, yes, um, an airline. And then he went berserk, he was really mad, he broke their systems. and wow. did Yes, he was really, really mad. And it, it trended on social media. And then I spoke with him. And, um, and this person is not a small boy. Permit me to use that word. Yeah. He's not a small boy. He is not. He is rich. When we're talking money, he has money. And internationally, he's recognized. Yeah. CNN and all of that. So he's not a small boy. So he was, he was lamenting. He was complaining that why will the airline... So if they can do that to me, what will happen to other people and Who all that? do not that? even have yes. anything or anybody. Do you understand? So, and then when you go to offices, just like you said, they don't even consider it that it's important no, for no, you it's to not. make the place conducive for people living with disabilities. No, or accessible. No. Yes, people. accessible. It's difficult. Let's go yeah. to Chuka. I'm still waiting to re um, reply to a comment that was made on Instagram on the post that um, um, a, a, a about disability, people with disability and their access to buildings and all that. Somebody asked a question on Open House Lagos um, uh, page on Instagram. Um, and Yes, we are failing. We have actually failed already, um, but we're trying to ensure now that we sort of claw our way back. Uh, past generations didn't care. So I wouldn't necessarily, you know, put down the architects for not caring as such because they're part of a generation that were brought up not to actually care. But um, now it's part of an ongoing discussion and it will improve with time. It's going to improve very slowly. Because Nigeria has actually, took, uh, we've gone too far the other way I to come back to look after the disabled. We've gone very, very far. Um, there's a law okay, in Lagos. So, so, so let me quickly chip in that um, recently I mentored two people who wrote about how we excluded those with disabilities during COVID. So while everybody was on lockdown, this set of people were not really factored in. Some of them could not, including sickle cell, uh, um, people yeah, living with sickle true. cell, they could not, you know, access healthcare, they could not feed, and, you know, the largest, the palliatives, they had no, uh, no, ah, nothing. <laughs> they want uh, even the able could not get palliative. Don't yeah, talk that's the yeah. thing. So <laughs> it, the government itself has a it has a lot to do in yeah. leading the pack to the commitment you're asking for, um, Jumoke. If yeah. the government gives them a pride of place, already I like what we do because when you see a politician or a states. Um, uh, events being done. You see the language people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so we've done well in that. Let's, let's just acknowledge we that. Improve. But we need to do more. So we're starting the conversation. We right. all have to just put it on the top of our minds. Oh, oh, quickly, I want to ask so that all those we language, have to round up yeah, this uh, conversation. All those language sign people, sometimes I wonder if what they are actually doing is what... <laughs> is you only well, anyway, that's a discussion know. for another day. <laughs> Esteemed viewer, your contributions are integral to this program. Please keep sharing your thoughts on everything we discuss here. These are some of your comments from last week. Responding to the advocacy on the awareness of the president, Fajemi Sinayobami says, a country blessed but cursed. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, change their ways and call on me, I will heal their land. The Bible says, have very, O oh Lord, the silence is loud. On the advocacy on, elect on electricity, J.R. Tim says, the discos use government to stop the rate at which people pay for prepaid meters because it is at their detriment. Since December, how many people have they given meter? But the IKEDC and EKEDC are given ridiculous, crazy estimated bills every month. Allow those who want to pay, pay, and allow people that can wait for free to do so. Please follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus tvafrica.com forward slash the Advocate NG. After the break, you will be outlining how corrupt you all are as a people. 
But if I may ask, yo, aren't you corrupt as well? After the break. <laughs>